Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. It's February 3, 2021. Ito po si Benji Chidoro. Hello po sa mga classmates ko nung high school sa Gregorio Araneta University High School na ngayon ay Lasal Araneta University. Particularly to uh, Felix, Antonio, and uh, Rose de la Rosa. I have been told that uh, a lot of you wants to know more on the stock market. So uh, I'll try to come up with something. Kaya antabayan ninyo, uh, antabayan na po ninyo at um, I'll be coordinating with uh, one of our classmates, si, si Rose, para maibigay natin sa inyo yung um, presentation on the basics on the stock market. And aside from that, meron tayong balita sa PAL at uh, ang uh, NPL ng mga banko at ang resulta ng trading sa PSE. At, and uh, if you like uh, the content, I invite you to um, subscribe to my channel. Alam po ninyo, retired um, bank officer po ako and I started out this um, report on the stock market last August. And uh, I've been uh, investing in the stock market since early 2000. I started with UITFs and um, then later in uh, directly in uh, buying stocks in the Philippine market. So if you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Para palagi po tayong updated sa... Uh, developments on the stock market. Lahat ng yan, dito lamang sa Feb February 3, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Okay, our first news is on the Philippine Airlines uh, from the business world. PAL cuts 2,300 jobs as part of recovery efforts. Flag carrier Philippine Airlines is cutting about 2,300 jobs or approximately 30% of its workforce as part of its recovery initiatives amid ongoing pandemic crisis, its top official said. This has been an extremely difficult and painful decision, PAL President Gilbert F. Santa Maria said in a statement on Tuesday. PAL said the total includes both voluntary separations and involuntary retrenchment. The affected workers have until mid-March as PAL employees. So this is not very good news on, on PAL, no? And uh, the company will have to cut uh, jobs as part of, actually, part of survival na rin. Kasi down ang airlines, eh. down ang tourism, eh. yun yung drive ng airline industry, no? Okay, so let's take a look at another news on the banks, no? Unpaid consumer loans hits 10-year peak. We'll discuss this when we discuss later BPI and when we review BPI. In the meantime, let's uh, take a look at how the uh, PSE index uh, fared. It lost 8.42 points. So, parang ano lang, no? Nalit lang, or 0.12%. And uh, our uh, candlestick on the index is still bearish. By the way, the PSEI is composed of uh, 30 stocks, the most stable stocks in the Philippines. Yan, yung, yan po ang compose ng index. And uh, the index is reflective of the country's um, stock market um, uh, stock market environment. No? How the stock market is faring based on the 30 companies. And most of the 30 companies in the index are what we call blue chip companies. So down siya. And if you'll take a look at the Let's take a look at uh, the um, market summary or the market activity. Yung, yung market activity is a summary of how the market fared today. 110 companies declined, 106 advanced, while 44 remained unchanged. As for the market indices, two of the market indices, the holding companies and the industrials, ended in the green, meaning uh, nag gain sila. No? While the financials, mining, properties, and services were in the red, meaning lower yung kanyang presyo than the previous day. So the um, gainers was led by the industrials at 0.26%, not much, while the um, decliners was led by the properties at 0.39%. So slightly down lang yung index. Yung all share index is uh, also slightly down at 2%, almost sideways ang movement ng ating index. As for the most active stocks, okay, let's review the following. ASEN, DITO, APL, TEL, 
BPI, we have news on uh, the banks, Ali, BDO, Marymart, BSC, and let's review a choice stock, FLI. Okay, so let's now start with uh, ASEN. By the way, may nag-comment nga pala yesterday na na-skip ko yung ASEN. Matinig lang ko nga, no? <laughs> nag-skip ako ng isang stock. And before I proceed nga pala, there was this question yesterday from Plug. No? Sabi ni Plug, kasi napanood niya yung aking um, video on risks in investing in stocks. Ano? What to know before before buying stocks. Ang sabi niya, how much is a starting investment? Maganda tanong yan. In fact, it is a common question. How much yung starting investment? Okay. To answer your question, very brief lang to, no? Um, what is the minimum amount of investment that we can invest in the stock market? That's a good question. No? That would depend kasi on the board lot of the stock. No? A stock whose price, for example, ano, a stock whose price is between 5 centavos and uh, 49 and a half centavos per share would have a minimum board lot of 10,000 shares. Pakita ko sa inyo yung PSE board lot. Ano? Yan. Yan yung board lot table. No? Now, kung ang presyo niya is between 5 centavos to 49 and a half centavos per share, this would have a minimum board lot of 10,000 shares. Kita nyo yun? This means that uh, the 10,000 shares are the minimum number of shares you can buy for that price. It also means that the shares can be bought in multiples of 10,000. So for example, si APL. Papunta natin si APL muna no? before we go to ASIN. Ang APL, ang presyo niya is 21.20. Okay? 21 centavos, 0.20. Okay, ang minimum board lot niya is 10,000 shares based on the table. Actually, sa Investa, you just uh, take a look here. Ito, makikita niyo yung board lot, 10,000 shares. Pero that's based on the board lot table, yung uh, naka-flash kanina here, no? 10,000 shares. Ngayon, yung 10,000 na yan, this means that 10,000 shares, yan yung minimum number of shares you can buy. It also means that the shares can be bought in multiples of 10,000. So, for example, yung APL is uh, 2120 nga, di ba? Nasaan na siya? Yan, 2120. So, that's 2120 times 10,000 shares. And you get 2,120 plus commissions and fees. Tama, di ba? 2,120 plus commissions and fees. Kasi ang brokers... Uh, dadaan niya sa broker eh. So, the broker will charge commission and fees. Ngayon, kung more than that ang gusto niyong invest, halimbawa lang, no, yung, ang next share na pwede mong bilhin is 20,000. 10, 20, 30, multiples of 10,000. So, another example is, halimbawa, uh, a stock whose price is 1,000 per share and above would have a board lot of 5 shares. So, kita niyo yun dito sa, uh, halimbawa dito, no, yung 1,000 oh, oh, 1,000 and above, 5 shares yung board lot niya. So, ang ibig sabihin lang noon is uh, magbigay tayo ng example. Um, si Glow. More than 1,000. Yung 2,002 yung kanyang presyo. No? So, sabi dun sa table, kung board lot mo is 1,000 or more, in this case, Glow, ang, uh, ang uh, board lot ng, ng Glow, the to buy Glow, you have a minimum of 5 shares. So, 2,002 times 5. Yun yung uh, minimum investment mo. So, that's uh, 10,000 10,010. Diba? Tama? 10,010. Plus commissions and fees. Okay? So, kung more than 5 shares ang gusto mong bilhin, in multiples of 5. So, gusto mong bumili ng 20 shares, pwede. Pero, 15, 14, 13, hindi yan pwede. Hindi yan multiples of 5. Eh. 14, 13, 17, hindi yan pwede. O kung yun sa, halimbawa sa APL, uh, 10,000 and 5, hindi yan pwede. Kailangan in multiples of the board lot. Okay, so did I answer your question? Thank you very much, Plug, for that uh, question. Tapos, uh, punta na tayo dito sa uh, first stock natin na i-review is ASEN. Okay, ASEN had a, you call this a red candlestick, a morning star, uh, no, an evening star actually. So, after three days of a green candlestick, nagkaroon siya ng red candlestick. So, ang ibig lang sabihin niyan is that there is a possibility that there might be a change in trend because this candlestick is a sign of reversal. So, maaaring mag-reverse na yung trend in the next candlestick. Maaaring makakita tayo ng red candlestick in the next uh, coming days. Ano? However, kung titignan pa natin yung ating indicators, nasa 
above pa rin the candlestick. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating moving averages, the 20-day exponential, is still above, meaning bullish pa rin yung kanyang trend at the moment. And yung RSI natin is at 62.7, or the, uh, you call this the relative strength index, which means that a, a number between 50 and 70 is a bullish indicator. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari in the following days. Ano? In the meantime, ang ating uh, nearest, kasi nasa resistance na ito eh. But the next resistance that I can see, 926. Yung next resistance ni ASEC. Okay, then next, let's take a look at dito. Okay, so dito had a red candlestick, although this is a higher candlestick. And yung ating mga indicators is still under the candlestick. By the way, the orange line is our 20-day exponential moving average. Yung blue line is the 50-day exponential moving average, while the uh, black line is the 100-day exponential moving average. So ito yung short term, orange. Yung medium term is the blue. The long term is the black. So pataas pa rin siya, no? And actually, it reached the resistance level of 14 31. So after that, bumagsak siya ng konti. So itetest niya yung resistance level na yan. At kung tumaas pa more than the resistance level, then this, that is what you call a breakout. Okay, so that's for dito. And then APL. By the way, when I talk of support and resistance, these are areas and not exact uh, prices. Ano? Ang support is where buyers would overcome sellers and there is a large possibility that the price will bounce, bounce upwards. Ang resistance naman is where the sellers would overpower buyers. Nasa taas ang resistance. Eh. And um, that is the place where there is a possibility that the price may resist or go back. Imbis na tumaas, nagre-resist siya, maaaring bumagsak yung presyo sa resistance. So ang nearest resistance natin for APL is at... Um, 15, uh, 1950 or 19.5 centavos and the nearest support uh, sorry, that's the nearest support rather, yung, yung 19.60 no? well, the nearest resistance would be at 38 centavos so, yun yung nakikita ko dyan so, it appears to be moving sideways pa rin kasi yung ating indicators yung short term orange line and um, blue line which is our medium term nasa pagitan yung mga candlesticks eh. it's a bearish to sideways movement okay and then tingnan natin si tell okay si tell continues to move sideways piercing yung candlesticks eh. pinipierce ng indicators yung candlestick yung moving average natin especially the 20 day moving and the 50 day moving no so yan yan yung uh, sideways movement so, sideways kasi because uh, alternating red and green candlestick siya. Although malalaki yung range, no? Pero in general, it's a sideways movement. So, as usual, our resistance is at um, 146 or 1,460. And our support, the nearest one that I can see, nagay natin dito sa... 1378 or 1380. So when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points. Huh? These are areas. Okay, BPI. Okay, BPI. Ko consolidate pa rin si BPI. Oh. Consolidate meaning um, sideways pa rin ang movement. So if we'll draw a Darvas box. A Darvas box is, is simply a rectangle you know, that would indicate the area where the price would would like is uh, more likely to move. No? At the upper area will be the resistance, the lower area will be the support. Now, if you trade the range, um, rule kasi dyan is you buy on support, sell at resistance. So, you buy at a lower, sell at a higher, dyan pa kumikita. Pero kung sell ka at a higher, or buy ka at higher, sell at a lower, talo ka dun. Unless short, short ang position mo. Okay? Eh, wala naman tayong shorting sa, sa Philippines eh. Sa US markets, meron yun. Okay, ang resistance natin is at 87.41 while the support is at 50, no, at mga 80, no, 79, 79 to 80 ang ating support. So, dyan lang siya naglalaro. So, ano ba news natin kay sa mga banko? So, tingnan natin. So, unpaid consumer loans hit 10-year peak in September. 
So, uh, sabi niyo dito, so, soared computer loans held by banks soared to their highest level in nearly a decade, decade as the third quarter last year. As of the third quarter last year, as several households struggled to pay debts after a pandemic-induced recession through job markets into turmoil. From January to September last year, 167.8 billion consumer loans were deemed non-performing or those that remains unpaid at least 30 days past due from the BSP. Uh, data from the BSP showed Tuesday. So it's not very good news for the banks, pero na-anticipate na yun ng mga banko. Eh. And therefore, nagkaroon na sila ng what you call a uh, reserve. Ni-reserve na nila, no? They allotted a reserve there called allowance for probable losses. So, ang allowance for probable losses, ina-expense muna yan. Uh, you uh, recognize the expense and place a reserve. Yun yung kakontra. Yun yung, deb yun yung credit. Yung debit is the expense. The credit is the allowance. Okay? And pagka yung, yung loan, hindi na mabayaran, or kasi ang BSP rule kasi is that you collect until there is an opportunity to collect. Until you exhaust all opportunities. Pagka hindi ka na makakolekta, you will uh, write off the loan by getting it from the allowance. Okay? Pero hindi mo na i-expense siya dahil na-expense nun na yun in the first place. So yun yung uh, allowance for probable losses. Okay, so now sa BPI, na-anticipate na, na nila yan. No? And therefore, many analysts would be um, buying sila kay, uh, sa mga banko, particularly on the index stocks, no? BPI and... Um, uh, Metro Bank, and probably BDO. So, yun yung recommendation ng mga analysts. Okay, so after PPI, let's go to Ali. Okay, ang Ali. Bearish ang Ali. So, nag-cross over sa candlestick yung ating indicator. Ito namang blue, uh, medium term uh, exponential, is also piercing through the candlestick. So, bearish to sideways ang kanyang movement. And uh, Ali is a strong uh, company naman, ano? In the meantime, ang ating support for Ali would be nandito sa 38.70 while the nearest uh, resistance would be here at 41.90. So sideways lang to bearish ang kanyang movement uh, coupled with uh, the confirmation from the RSI na 42.79 meaning bearish siya. No? An RSI between 30 and 50 is a bearish uh, number. Okay, then BDO. Okay, ang BDO ended with a an evening star. No? So, it's a red candlestick. 0.10 lang yung binaba niya. Uh, decline, ano? And uh, this is a uh, an indication of a possible trend reversal. Pero in general, based on our indicators, sideways yung movement yung ating uh, indicators. Eh. So, maaring nagpapahinga lang yung stock, nagko-consolidate before it can probably move higher. Okay, so that's BDO. The nearest support of BDO is 100, while the nearest resistance, lagay natin sa 111, 112. Yan yung nearest resistance ni BDO. Okay, and then Mary Mart. Mary Mart, okay, moving sideways din siya. No? It had a engulfing green candlestick now, pero red ngayon siya. No? And uh, yung exponential, yung 20 day moving average natin is piercing through an indication of a sideways or consolidated movement on the stock. Okay, so that's for Mary Mart. Sideways pa rin yung movement niya. Yung nearest, uh, let's draw a Darvas box. Diyan lang siya naglalaro eh. Uh, resistance of 8 and a support of 630. No? Diyan lang siya naglalaro. So you do the range trading there, from there. And then BSC. Okay, BSC continues to move sideways, although yung ating candlestick is still bearish. Uh, no, it's uh, bullish because it's the 20-day uh, uh, short-term indicator is under. No? Pero ano pa rin siya? It's uh, bullish to sideways. Yung ating RSI is 56, meaning may bullish indication pa rin. An RSI, uh, an RSI between 50 and 70 is a bullish indicator. An RSI above uh, 70 is uh, overbought na yung stock. Okay, so the nearest support, I would place it at EMA20. EMA20 is 1 peso. 99. 99 to 1 peso. Yan yung nearest support. Well, the nearest resistance, I would place this at yun natin. Nandito na siya. 
145 in years resistance siya. Uh, 130, mga 137 or to 140 in years resistance ni BSC. Finally, FLI. Okay, FLI, look at that. Continued breakout siya. Oh. May breakout si FLI. Okay, so it had three, four or five successive green candlestick and now there is a solid green candlestick with volume. So, nag-breakout niya, siya. Kasi ang breakout is piercing through a, a resistance level. Eh. Ito yung previous resistance niya. Eh. Yan, oh. 116. Nag-118 siya. Nag-pierce you. Pierce through siya dyan sa level na yan. So, uh, well, it's probably still resistance, pero may volume siya. Eh. Medyo malaki. Now, the next resistance level that it may test is this level, 119. Medyo thin lang, pero significant yung increase. Eh. Kasi may volume eh. Okay, yung volume kasi is yung shadow, yan yung average volume. Pero kung yung histogram na ito ay umakyat more than the shadow, then there is an above average volume. An above average volume with a surge in price is called a breakout. So ito, breakout to. Okay, and uh, it is above the candlestick. So tingnan natin, no? after a breakout kasi the tendency is to consolidate. So ibig sabihin nun is maaring, magpahing, maaring tumuloy pataas o magpahinga yung stock. Diyan siya magpahinga. Parang ganito, tumaas, tumaas ka dito, tapos nag-consolidate. Tumaas, merong consolidation. A sideways movement. Isang is example ito. Tumaas ito, nag-consolidate, tapos ito tumaas ulit. No? Ganyan, yung, ano, ganyan yung characteristic ng breakout. Okay? So that's for FLI. Okay. Yan po ang ating stock market report today, Wednesday. February 3, 2021. Abangan nyo po yung um, ginagawa nating uh, special episode for the basics on the stock market, uh, specially tailored for beginners and uh, newbies and uh, for my classmates actually. Abangan nyo po yan. Ito po si, ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Thank you for your uh, support and uh, viewership. See you in our next episode. Maraming salamat po. Bye for now.